Hey guys, welcome to another vlog video. Um, today I wanted to do another homeschool clip real quick on some more of our school room that I wasn't really specific on in the first video because it was just a general overview video. And so I'm just going to run through a few quick things. Um, most of you remember in the first video that I showed you that on the closet door in our school room we keep a plastic shoe organizer and we keep the children's school supplies in it. So I'm just going to show you real quick how we do it and what we do and um, how we keep everything organized to try to get school to flow more successfully. Because if school flows more successfully, then the rest of our day flows more successfully and I get more time to craft and make wonderful things for you uh, wonderful Looper fans. So on the bottom row, from left to right, that's where we keep the children's pencil boxes. Um, they've been coloring a little bit today, so a couple of them's pencil boxes are out. But from left to right, we do youngest to oldest. And then the one on the far left is actually for just crayons. So it would go crayons, the two-year-olds, the four-year-olds, and the almost six-year-olds. And then the next one up would go the seven-year-olds. And then her school supply that she picked her kindergarten year, which she still has most of, is um, a 50-pack of colored pencils. So she gets to keep that next to her school supplies because we prefer for them to color with those when they're coloring worksheets for school. And then the pocket next to it is where we usually keep a pencil box just like the ones that are in there already and we keep spare pencils in there for whenever our mysterious child nobody takes their pencils. And then in the pocket next to it are bookmarks and I wanted to give another shout out to our local library, Manorville Public Library, because number one they're awesome and libraries are awesome. But number two, they are such huge supporters of Lucy's Loops, um, the home, this homeschool blog, or you know, it's basically or anything blog. But they're such su huge supporters of our blog, um, Fishing Like a Boss, which is Matt's new channel. And so, at the end of summer, we get these cool little bookmarks. And um, I try to teach the kids to use the bookmarks because we use a lot of library books. And that just teaches them smart safety with books and, you know, not to damage them. And then um, we also had to get these, we got these rulers from, well, if I turn it the right way, depending on where you live, not U.S., U.S. So these are the rulers that we have, and um, we actually, I, I was kind of joking about that because I do have an uncle in Canada, and I have quite a few international customers, but we had to get these because my first grader last year had to learn how to use centimeters. And we're like, oh, we weren't expecting that. So we had to get a ruler where she could use both. So we have a few of those. Then we have just basic rulers for the smaller grades. And then the next one over are uh, dry erase board crayons that have a little rag that comes, well, not a rag, a little cloth that comes with them that you use to wipe the boards off with whenever you're done with them. And then next to that is where we keep the painting supplies. And then up from there... Um, the little pink pocket has where we took a U.S. map and we cut it up and cut all the states up individually whenever they were learning states and placement. And so that's where that, that what's in that little pink folder. Next are the flashcards for the little ones. And then on the end are the flashcards for the bigger ones. States and capitals, multiplication cards, telling time. And that's where we keep that. You know, we've mentioned in other videos that this is also our workroom. Over across from here is where the Lucy's Loops yarn is stored. And then over on this side is where all of the fabric is stored. Um, there's the green we use to make Jory's shirt for Jory and the Magic Stones. Um, so we keep some work supplies in here too. The tape is usually for taping the labels on the packages when we ship them out. Um, when they go international, the glue doesn't stick, so we switch to tape. Um, I'd like to find something more eco-friendly, but for now that's what we use. Next to it is the glue. And then we have stencils for the children to use. And then what we have what we call the fun pouch. There's this really wacky looking pencil right here that bends in all different directions. Absolutely no practicality for school whatsoever. But they get a hoot out of it trying to write with it. So, you know, it's there for fun. Then we have little flashlights. And Grace is learning how to use plastic canvas. So she has her plastic canvas work in here. And then the next shelf up is my things. That's where I keep the dry erase markers, permanent markers, pens, my mechanical pencils, because I don't let them use mechanical yet, stapler, stapler staples, hole punches, um, tassels to, we, we, we kind of hang them in here to promote the kids to say, you know, your parents graduated from school, so can you. So we leave those in there for encouragement. And then we keep all of the stickers right there. So that's basically what we keep in here. But we also have another one. When you open the door up, 
there's a second one inside the closet door. Now the reason we do that is that there's supplies in those that it's okay for the kids to get to them, sort of, but we don't want them to have them all the time. There's little water toys up in the top of this one and then all of those markers on those three pockets are color wonder markers. The smaller ones on the left are for to go. And we like the color wonder, but those markers dry out so easy. So we decided to keep them in there where the kids can't get to them all the time. We just take them where they go. Those are color pencils and markers that are for their whiteboards. We love using whiteboards and whiteboard sheets that you can buy individually. And then we keep the tons and tons and tons of pencils. Again, another thanks to Maynard Public Library because they always give us tons of pencils at the end of the school year and just little prizes through the year. Um, so those are in there. Um, all the erasers. And then, and then there's a thing of white out in there to, you know, try to keep the kids out of it. So that is basically how we do the organizing the other school supplies other than just the books. And so thanks again you guys for watching. Um, if you like what you see and you want us to do more vlogs on just our everyday life and how things work with two YouTubers that both work full time jobs too, um, just click like and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to our main channel Lucy's Loose and to Matt's main channel Fishing Like a Boss. And we'll see you next time.